Hey, what's up? So you just downloaded Serato DJ Lite. Here's how to get going so you can start rocking parties right away. Serato DJ Lite is a free DJ software that you can use with a wide range of controllers like the Pioneer DDJ Rev1 right here. Only certain devices support Serato DJ Lite, so be sure to check if your controller is supported by Serato or not. Serato DJ Pro is an upgrade that has more features and functions that you'll want to explore as you gain more experience and knowledge as a DJ. Once you're ready, you can purchase a license for Serato DJ Pro, which will allow you to use it with a wide range of supported Pro mixers and controllers. To connect a controller for use with Serato DJ Lite, you'll need to plug it into an open USB port on your computer. You may need to install drivers for your device depending on the controller you're using if you haven't connected it before. The drivers can be found either on the manufacturer's website or on serato.com. Once installed, you will be able to connect the hardware to your computer and begin using Serato DJ Lite. You can start playing songs in Serato DJ Lite right away with the music that is included in the Serato Demo Tracks crate. You can also stream music in Serato DJ Lite by using one of the integrated streaming services. Currently, you can stream from your Beatport, BeatSource, SoundCloud, and Tidal libraries. You will need to have an active paid subscription on whichever service you choose. To import MP3s into Serato DJ Lite, you can use the Files panel and drag a folder to the crate area, like this. Or if you prefer, you can use your iTunes or Apple Music MP3 library. Just select the option to show iTunes library in the setup menu of Serato DJ Lite under the Library and Display tab. Unfortunately, streaming tracks in Apple Music, however, won't show up in Serato DJ. Once you have your tracks in Serato DJ Lite, you'll want to analyze your files to determine the BPM of your tracks. You will, however, need to be unplugged from your device. You can either simply click the Analyze Files button to begin analyzing the entire library or drag only the songs you want analyzed to the button, depending on your needs. This will automatically tag the BPM on the tracks, which will allow you to sort your library by BPM from either slowest to fastest or vice versa. Now you can start choosing your tracks based on the tempos, which will allow you to find songs that are in a similar range. To stay organized, utilize crates to arrange tracks for your sets. Just click the Crate button here, rename it whatever you like. Now you can drag songs to the crate as you like. Order them by BPM or however you'd like to have them organized. Load your tracks by dragging them to either the left deck or the right deck. There are also hotkeys available for a quicker workflow. By clicking Shift and the left cursor key for the left deck and Shift plus the right cursor key for the right deck. You can also use the scroll and load buttons on the controller. Start your track by pressing the play button and bring up the line fader. Load your second track corresponding to the BPM and match the tempos either by clicking sync on the track you're bringing in or by using the tempo slider. Use the cue point buttons on the controller to cue the tracks in. I always set a cue point at the beginning of my track so I can quickly jump back to the start. You can also use the temporary cue button. This will bring the track back to the start and stop it. It's important to know that temporary cue does not save to the file and will be gone next time you load the track in Serato. Once you have your tempos matched, bring up the line faders and the cross fader across to mix in your new track. You can use the effects buttons if you'd like to add some more sauce to your mix. Click on the effects option at the top of the screen to open the effects panel. Some of the effects available include echo, reverb, filters, and more. Now, turn the effects on as you choose and bring the wet dry knob up to affect the track. Open up the sample player by clicking on the air horn symbol at the top of the screen. You'll notice the sample play panel open below the decks. You can also add in your own samples to spice up your performance or let people know who's DJing. There are already some sounds in there for you to trigger. You can also drag sounds and sound effects in from your library or from the files panel. On the controller, you can enter sample mode by clicking on the sampler button above the cues, which will make the top four pads trigger your four sample slots. These are all fun techniques and options you can use in Serato DJ Lite with the DDJ Rev1. Now it's your turn to get in the mix and try it all out for yourself. Time to get busy and have some fun.